Hello there and welcome friends. Today's video will be all about the best defensive buffs in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous so that you can achieve enormous amounts of armor class. Now you might be asking, but this is an angel mythic character who already has a lot of armor class from some angel specific abilities and this is true. So for example, I'm also showing you my Socio here, who despite not having any fit invested in armor class or any class ability that enhances armor class, still managed to get 69 AC when two handing or 71 when using a shield, just to prove you that this will still work regardless of your mythic path and even if your character is dual wielding or two handing without a shield of course, and also without some powerful abilities that for example add your charisma or wisdom to armor class. Now to start the video it's also important to note that achieving the best defense in the game is not really just about stacking armor class to the heavens, it's actually more about empowering your character with multiple defensive layers, such as temporary hit points and also concealment as I will show you later on. I won't go much into specific class abilities that only increase armor class for the character, such as charisma to armor class for example, as they are somewhat limited and only really work for that singular character themselves. Now before we actually get into spells, I think it's important to first clarify that as far as armor class, bonuses of the same type will not stack with themselves, besides a few exceptions, basically natural armor and also dodge bonuses, these will actually stack. So as you can see here, I have three different types of dodge and also three whole types of natural armor class. The rest however are all unique bonuses such as insight, profane, sacred, dexterity, deflection and so on. Now when it comes to natural armor class stacking, the natural armor that you get from amulets of natural armor or the bark skin spell will not stack with themselves. Usually you only get stacking natural armor bonuses from let's say size increases such as legendary proportions or some class abilities like scald rage here. Now that this is out of the way, Let's get started with the best spells to increase your defenses first. And just at level 1 we already have two very powerful arcane buffs. The first is the classic mage armor. You can actually cast this on any character, not just the character themselves, for a plus 4 armor bonus to AC. Early on this is far better for characters that don't have any armor, such as Nenio who is a wizard for example, and of course your pets. As plus 4 can be quite a big bonus ah, early on. Later in the game this actually becomes even stronger through the aid of the Archmage Armor mythic ability. So my angel here just by using a potion of mage armor can get a whole plus 13 to armor class at mythic rank 9. This can actually be beneficial even for characters that already have armor equipped after all it is very hard to get something like plus 13 without taking your armor enhancement value into consideration, which is of course going to be added up. Besides that we also have shield. This spell gives your caster a plus 4 shield bonus to armor class, but it doesn't end there really. Even though by default this spell is only personal, by having any alchemist with the infusion discovery, you will be able to cast this spell on any of your party members, even pets. This of course makes a big difference, especially for two-handed characters and also dual wielders who can't wear a shield. Now for a great level 1 divine defensive spell we have of course Shield of Faith, which gives any party member a plus 2 deflection bonus to armor class with an additional plus 1 for every 6 levels you have, with a maximum of plus 5 at level 18. Ideally you certainly want to buff any of your characters that will be in melee range or subject to enemy attacks with Shield of Faith. Paladins also get the unique Veil of Heaven spell that gives you a plus 2 sacred bonus to AC and also saves against demons, or in the case of positive energy, against undead. Sacred bonuses to AC are very rare. Now level 2 arcane spells are also great for defense. One of the best ones is Blur, which is probably the first spell that can actually give concealment to any of your party members. In this case a 20% miss chance. The duration is also decent at 1 minute per level. And remember, concealment means the enemy will have a staple 20% miss chance, regardless of how low or high your armor class is, as concealment is applied first, before any attack roll takes place. And notice how a lot of these misses are actually from concealment, so even against late game enemies, concealment will still work. It's only a very small amount of enemies that actually have the true sing ability to bypass your concealment. Besides that we also have Cat's Grace, which can increase the dexterity of any character by a plus 4 enhancement. 
Now, each two points in dexterity will also increase your armor class by one, but remember, for characters that use armor, this will be limited based on their maximum armor dexterity value. Mithril Chain Shirt here, for example, has a maximum of plus six dexterity bonus. So for some dexterity-based characters, it might be best not to wear any armor at all. Besides that, we also have Mirror Image, and in this case, the spell is personal only, but still very useful for casters. This spell will give you a number of illusory images that will also be targeted whenever the enemy attempts to attack you. And if they hit an image, well, you won't take any damage and the image will disappear. Now, another good choice is also the False Life spell. It has extreme duration at 1 hour per level and will grant you temporary hit points equal to 1d10 plus 1 per caster level for a maximum of plus 10. So around 10 to 20 temporary hit points. Once again, this spell is personal by default, but you can also use Alchemist to cast it on other characters. Too. Now, as far as divine spells, you have two main choices here. The first is, of course, Bark Skin. The first buff you have that grants natural armor class, and unlike Shield of Faith, it actually also has very high duration at 10 minutes per level, so perfect for the early game. It gives any character a plus 2 enhancement to natural armor class, that increases by 1 plus 3 cursor levels above the third. Just be sure to remember that Bark Skin will not stack with amulets of natural armor, and in the case of the amulets, they can actually go even higher for a maximum of plus 6 instead of just plus 5. We also have the Abe spell, that just like False Life, also gives your characters temporary hit points. But in this case, you don't need an alchemist, as the target can be any one of your party members. And of course, it does stack with False Life for even more temporary hit points. Now another great divine buff is protection from alignment communal. In this case, we want protection from evil. The bonus to armor class isn't really going to make that much of a difference, but the main power of this spell is that it makes your whole party immune to charm and dominate, so perfect whenever you're fighting enemies like Succubi, for example. And as far as status ailments, we also get Delay Poison for Poison Immunity, and also Resist Energy, to give your characters energy resistance, perfect for enemies like Brimorax, who spam fireballs and other fire spells at you. Later on, we'll actually get party-wide versions of both Resist Energy and Delay Poison, and those are the ones that you should bother casting. Now, Paladins also get more unique powerful spells at level 2. The main one would be Bestow Grace, that gives any party member, so long as they are good aligned, a sacred bonus to their saving throws equal to their Charisma bonus. Now, if you're playing a Charisma-based character, this can actually be insane. My Angel Oracle here, for example, has plus 17 to all of his saves just from Bestow Grace. And amusingly enough, this spell also stacks with the Paladin class ability Divine Grace, which is the same effect for basically double the effect, but of course this might change on a future patch. Paladins also have Aura of Greater Courage to give your whole party immunity to fear, one of the most annoying status effects. Alright, now let's talk about the best level 3 arcane defensive spells, and these are very powerful as well. First we have of course the infamous haste, probably the best buff in the game really. Of course it gives you an extra attack, but as far as defense it also grants you a very rare plus 1 dodge bonus to armor class and reflex saves. And as I said in the beginning of this video, dodge bonuses to armor class will stack with other dodge sources. Besides that, we also have displacement for a massive 50% concealment to your character. So basically, whenever the enemy attacks you, half their attacks will miss just because of concealment. Now, the only downside is that this has somewhat low duration at one round per level. Unlike displacement, which has lower concealment, but 10 times the duration for one minute per level. Now, level 3 defensive divine spells are also great. And the main attraction here is Magical Vestment. This will give any character, even pets, so they don't need to actually have an armor equipped, a plus one enhancement bonus to armor class per four quested levels, for a maximum of plus five at level 20. This is actually somewhat misleading because Merged Angels, for example, who have higher than 20 caster level, can actually increase this up to plus seven at caster level 28. Now, this spell isn't just good because you can cast it on characters that don't have armor, such as pass for a plus 7 or plus 5, but also because the value will stack with your current armor class enhancement up to a maximum of plus 5 usually. So for example, if my divine caster was level 8, he would be able to give a plus 2 bonus to armor enhancement. And if Scylla already had a breastplate plus 1 equipped, the plus 2 bonus would stack with a plus 1 for a plus 3. So very useful, as it can actually improve whatever armor enhancement you already have. Now, this spell will actually work on both armor 
and also shields. So be sure to also buff characters that have shields with it. The other best level 3 defensive divine buffs are the party-wide versions of the spells I mentioned before. Delay poison communal and also resist energy communal. Now let's talk about level 4 defensive spells. As far as arcane we have greater invisibility, which is basically the same as displacement for 50% concealment, with the added bonus of making your character invisible for the complete duration one round per level, and this invisibility effect will not wear off when they attack, unlike normal invisibility. Besides that we also have stone skin, although I would personally save for the party-wide version that you will get a level later. Still, it can give any character 10 damage resistance that is only pierced by adamantine weapons and basically almost no enemy has adamantine weapons so it can shave off 10 points of any physical damage you receive up to a maximum of 115 based on your caster level. Besides that we have of course death ward, even though this doesn't grant you an armor class increase, it will protect your characters both against negative energy damage and most importantly level drain effects which are certainly one of the most annoying effects in the game. So be sure to keep this prepared for certain undead enemies like Bodoks and Whites. Besides that we also have freedom of movement of course, to make your characters immune to paralysis and even trip so they won't get knocked down anymore. Lastly, protection from energy communal, to just like resist energy, highly reduce the energy damage your party members take from spells and abilities. Now there's actually another good level 4 arcane buff, in this case false life greater, which is basically an upgrade over the normal false life, and once again alchemists can cast it on other characters. The best part about the greater version of false life is that it will stack with the normal version for quite a lot of temporary hit points. Now as far as level 5 defensive buffs, the best ones will be the divine spells. First we have the burst of glory spell. And the best part about it is the party wide temporary hit points increase, equal to your caster level, for around plus 9 to plus 20. And as usual we want as much temporary hit points as possible, so that even if the enemies hit us, we still have a powerful defensive layer that they will have to go through first before actually getting to us. Besides that, for pets we also have the highly powerful animal growth spell that gives them a size increase, quite a massive bonus to strength, a good bonus to constitution, and these are both size bonuses, so they will stack with the animal buffs for example or belts. Always be sure to cast this on every single one of your pets. Now the spell resistant um, spell can actually be somewhat useful, but it depends on your mythic path basically. By default you won't be able to give your characters a good amount of spell resistance, especially against the late game enemies, unless you are a merged angel, as this spell scales based on caster level, or basically an Azata who has Ivo to cast the spell on you and she also gets quite an incredible caster level for higher than 40 spell resistance. I suppose arcane casters like wizard and sorcerers gain access to stone skin communal as soon as level 5 and this can be very powerful after all with stone skin for all your party members but divine casters can also get it around level 6 such as camellia and druids now let's talk about the best level 6 spells the arcane ones are somewhat underwhelming as well but divine ones are great we have stone skin communal as i mentioned before and of course the mass version of all of the animal buffs though as far as defense the most important one here would be mass cat's grace Besides that, clerics and paladins also have access to the very powerful Eagle Soul spell. Just like Bestow Grace, this will only work on good aligned characters, but will give them a very rare plus 2 sacred bonus to armor class and even a plus 4 sacred bonus to strength. Overall extremely useful. Paladins on the other hand will get it as a level 4 spell. Alright, so when it comes to level 7 defensive buffs, the best one would be legendary proportions. Just like in large person, this will grant your character a very big size increase, but most importantly a stacking plus 6 bonus to natural armor class. Although since it also grants you a size penalty of minus 2, you will end up with something like plus 4 stacking to natural armor class. You also gain a permanent stone skin effect that doesn't have any cap on the value of damage you take based on the spell duration 1 minute per caster level. Now this spell does actually have a material component cost of dinosaur bones, but you can actually buy them starting from one of the more recent patches. Even then you can also use a character like Nanyo to keep scribing you scrolls of legendary proportions on rest as both arcane and divine casters get the spell. Now Ice Body is another very powerful defensive buff that some divine casters like druids get, but mostly arcane ones. It grants you a massive amount of immunities, most importantly to ability score damage and critical hits. And I don't need to say how powerful that is, right? Unfortunately, it is a personal only spell. Brown for arcanists, however, 
will be able to cast this on any of your party members. As far as level 8 spells, we have two main ones. The first is Frightful Aspect, and both Divine and Arcane casters get it. Just like Legendary Proportions, it gives you a plus 6 stacking size bonus to Natural Armor class. Just remember that you can't actually combine these with Legendary Proportions, as both increase the same type of natural armor class, size. Now this spell actually has another powerful bonus to armor class, as it will also give you a permanent aura that shakens enemies around you without a saving throw. So will work even on unfair, so long as the enemy is not immune to shaken and fear, and most of them aren't, even some of the demon lords. Shaken enemies will take a minus 2 penalty to attack rolls, so basically this is just like having a plus 2 extra bonus to armor class. Now arcane casters and druids will also gain the powerful sea mantle spell at level 8. It gives you an untyped plus 8 bonus to armor class, so long as the enemy doesn't have freedom of movement. Remember that even though this is basically an arcane buff by default, you can always have a character with use magic device use this scroll, and you can also simply craft a lot of these scrolls by having a character like Nanyo's right tip for you. Now we are at last at level 9 spells. The first is Foresight, mainly an arcane specific buff, that gives any of your allies a plus 2 insight bonus to armor class, a very rare type of bonus, but most importantly, also makes them immune to flat-footed, so chances are the enemy will not be able to hit them with sneak attacks. We also have the Fiery Body spell, which is basically an upgrade over Ice Body. Alright, now let's talk about the best class abilities as far as party-wide defensive bonuses. The first one is Protective Luck, of course, as I have already shared with you in my recently released Hex Guide. So to put it simply, it forces your enemy to roll twice on every single one of their attacks and take the worst result when attempting to hit you with any effect that requires an attack roll. Considering how many layers of defenses our characters have, such as high armor class, temporary hit points, and also concealment, by adding protective luck to our mix, we will highly decrease the chances of our enemy actually managing to do anything significant to our characters. Besides that, Beast Totem is another very powerful source of stacking natural armor class to all of your characters. You can only get this if you are a Scald. And pick first the Lesser Beast Totem, Rage Power, and then the Normal Beast Totem Power. It gives your whole party a plus one natural bonus to armor class, with an extra plus one for every four levels. At the end game, you will be looking at something like plus six stacking natural armor class bonus from just Inspired Rage, so very useful after all it hits your whole party. And if you have the Lingering Performance, Bard or Scald ability, it's also going to last for a minimum of 3 rounds per song use. So basically it's going to last through the whole dungeon until rest. Now lastly we also have the Inspiring Command ability from Nobility Domain. It gives your whole party quite a lot of buffs, but most importantly a plus 2 Insight bonus to Armor class. Because Insight bonuses tend to be very rare and this hits your whole party, it's certainly very useful. It does have limited uses based on your Wisdom modifier, but you can eventually get quite a lot of uses per day really. Well, so this was it everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video on what I find to be the best defensive buffs, as you highly increase not only your armor class, but also your survivability through other strong layers of defense. As usual, if you think I missed something, or have another tip as far as increasing armor class and so on, please be sure to comment down below. I'd also really appreciate if you could support the channel by liking the video and subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you next time, friends!